to another super exciting edition of Business Leader of the Week with your host, Chris Annie. And today is going to be another exciting edition. I'm excited. I am ready because we have a super woman in the house today. Her name is Zini Zulu, and she's a business mugu, a mother of three. And she's doing something exciting in the space of entrepreneurship, especially for young people. Uh, I don't want to blow out the old trumpet myself. I will allow her to do the introduction herself. Welcome, Zini Zulu, to Daba TV. Thanks for having me here, Chris. I'm excited. It's a pleasure. So let's go on a short break. Skip this ad, just as you skip buying Bitcoin at $4,000 and Ethereum at $100 in 2020. And now, Bitcoin and Ethereum have reached a new all-time high in price. Don't you want to learn how to make money by trading and investing in cryptocurrencies in 2021? and beyond. In 2020, during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, I wrote an article advising people and pushing them to buy Bitcoin, stablecoin, and other cryptocurrency. I'm sure those who took my advice are richer down. 2021 is another year that opens opportunities for you to make money from the crypto market. There are two sets of people watching this video right now. The first one are those who are going to ignore this offer, make mistakes, make excuses, and move on. The second one are those who are going to take this offer, join my students who are making millions from the cryptocurrency market. My name is Chris Ani, Africa's number one crypto influencer, teacher, and founder, Daba.school. Welcome to my online course. In this trade and make money course, you learn how to buy, how to sell coins to profit from fundamental analysis, technical analysis, how to spot a coin that will make you money, how to also avoid losses in the cryptocurrency market, and a lot more. Not just that, when you get this course, you will also be added to my private premium signal room where you will see the coins to buy and the coins to profit from. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below to get this course or go to www.daba.school and get the trade and make money course. You can also download the Daba app and get the course on your Daba app. What are you waiting for? I'll see you there. I'm going to start with asking, who is Zini? <laughs> that is a very true question because Zini is a lot of things mm. to a lot of people. I wear many hats. Um, so I'll start with the one that is the most important. I'm a mom of three beautiful boys. I love they, that. They make me so happy when I oh. think of them. <laughs> so I'm a mother, but I don't like to wear the mother hat alone because I'm just, you know, there's just so much depth mm. to who I am. I'm a mother. I'm a fitness enthusiast. I love, you know, fitness, health and fitness. And I'm an entrepreneur and I'm just, I'm on my journey like everybody else. Interesting. So that's who I am in a nutshell. Interesting. You know, I do a lot of things that we'll probably get into in the course of our conversation. But most importantly, I'm very passionate about Africa. Mm. I'm passionate about solving problems in Africa. So I hate, you know, just to hear complaints. I hate people just, you know, complain about the, the challenges. We all know what the problems are in our continent. So for me, I'm very solution oriented. Mm. So and um, solution oriented in a sustainable way. I don't really believe in people handing, you know, ha giving people stuff or people depending on people. I believe in sustainability and entrepreneurship is, for me, the fastest way for Africa to solve our own problems Inter by ourselves. Interesting. Yeah. And one exciting thing I love about you is the fact that you're building several businesses at the same time. Yes. I know you are head of retail at Nepal, an yes. oil company. And at the same time, I got to know you because of 234 Finance, where yeah. you came to speak in an event one time. Yeah. And you're also building other business. How are you combining these things? <laughs> I have no life, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> and uh, I get this question all the time. How do you balance things out? How are you doing everything? The truth of the matter is that when you're focusing on one thing, something else must suffer. Mm. So what I do is I take care of things per time. Mm. And I know that there's a time and a season for everything. But when you're doing something, something must 
always something has to give mm. always but what i also do is i delegate a lot that's really how i I'm able to be alive. Mm. But first of all, I don't have a life. So <laughs> I, if you want to have a life, please do not be like me. I do not have a life. But um, I just try to delegate and I take on projects per time. Mm. So I like projects. I like things that, you know, start and have an ending. So I tend to take on projects. So I wear different hats. So maybe I'll just go into what I do. Okay. So my day job is um, I'm the head of retail for Nepal Oil and Gas as an indigenous downstream oil and gas company is a family owned business Love and um, family owned. yeah it's a family owned business and um, something that i'm very proud of is my mom who is the visionary of nepal oil and gas so it's very interesting that you know i work with my mom so that's you know <laughs> I, love this one. Family I love this one i love this one so it's it. like the entrepreneurship dna had to flow from mommy y to daughter so I want to say something interesting before I go back Please into do. what I do. So I call, I'll say the family, our family is an incubator. Mm. So um, my dad, um, you know, who is like the, <laughs> the entrepreneur extraordinaire mm. in the family, um, you know, started everything, you know. We started living, our, leg our family house in, on the mainland then was what I'll call an incubator. So we had, you know, typical Igbo family setting. Mm. We had families, we had relatives live with us, uncles. Like if you're thinking, okay, we're going to that uncle in Lagos, our house was that uncle's house. house. And a lot of people actually started in our house, you know, started trading in our house. And from wow. there, they would go on to start their own thing. Mm -hmm. So you know how they say there's this Igbo um, apprenticeship program. Apprenticeship model. So that was like, our house was like the incubator. Mm. And people will come from the east, live in our house, and mm. from there, move out when they start growing to, you know, open their own shop. Wow. So the entrepreneurship gene is really inside wow. my DNA. Wow. Wow. And wow. from wow. the jump, wow. I knew that, you know, I was going to do something in business, Sha. I didn't know how it was, how it was going to pan out, but I just mm. knew that it was something that, you know, is like a life in our DNA. This is, this is something I'm excited about, and I love, because... <laughs> You know, I, I, I'm somebody who loves the family thing. Yeah. For my, my son name is Annie, and my own grandfather had his own line of business, agriculture, right? Yeah. I, before my dad passed on, I can remember him telling me, son, uh, one of the things I want to do is that I want every of your younger ones to be part of director of the Annie Holdings. Mm. That's what he said, that's what I want. I don't want them to go one day looking for a C, using their CV to go to the job. Yeah. I want every one of them, this company we're building, I want every one of them to be a director in this company. So even if they will marry outside, they still own a share of this business and Amazing. it's for family legacy. Amazing. And uh, to anyone who is watching this, I think this is a, this is a good step. This is a good family life. Don't think about the Fords, the, exactly. the Dangotes, okay, the Gates family foundation and if we i think the best place to even teach entrepreneurship from the start is when you're back home because my I, I've, I've seen my father draw a plan of chris how are we going to make 10 million in a year back then so when he does this type of thing i i tend to like i'm learning from my own number one role model i'm learning exactly. from someone my number one teacher exactly. and it gets so exciting so please continue to join because i'm enjoying the story <laughs> it's tough um you know working in family business especially you know, growing a business is like a child, literally like a child, you know. And for my mom, she's started this business from scratch and she's seen it grow into the, uh, might, might I say, conglomerate that mm. it is. And we're not even started. Mm. And for me, I'm coming in with my new ideas, innovation, oh, you can do things like this. But, you know, our parents are set in their ways and the way that works for them, it works for them. Mm. So, you know, them being open to innovation can be tough, but we're getting there mm. and um, also earning her respect. I'm working every day to earn her respect. So it's very interesting. I'm in the business, my brother is in the business, and we're just, you know, putting our hands to just work as a team and seeing how so where it takes us to. Mommy so yeah. is CEO, daddy <laughs> is chairman. Yeah. I love that business. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Two, three, four, finance. What's the motivation behind? What's your plan? Uh, What's the vision for two, three, four, finance? So for two, three, four, finance is something that has evolved over time and I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. So how did the vision or everything start? Everything started when I was in Geneva. So I worked in uh, an, an energy trading company, Mercuria in Geneva. And I was, I think I was doing research, you know, it was an internship position at the time. And I was working with the business development unit to, um, 
they're looking at expanding their African presence in upstream and downstream as well. So I had to do a lot of research. And what I realized was that it was very difficult to get content, mm. so to get information. So 234 Finance, the idea actually started as a Reuters or a Bloomberg. That was really what it started as. Mm. And over time, we refined it. So, you know, while I was in Geneva, I would try to get information. So if I'm trying to get information about companies in Europe or in America, I'll just go on B B Bloomberg. There's a whole database of information. Mm. And it was easy. But to get information about Africa, Africa. okay, what's the draft restriction? What are the, where are the ports are? You know, things like that. It was very difficult. I had to call, talk to somebody. Mm. You know, it was very frustrating. Mm. So when I moved back to Nigeria, that was like top of my mind. That, okay, this is something that I want to change. Mm. Like, you know, and then blogging was like the thing. This mm. was in like 2012, 2013. Linda mm. Ikeji was, you know, making so much money from <laughs> blogging. And I'm like, okay, how can she be making so much money off gossip? Surely this problem that I'm having, other people should be having this problem, like yeah. getting information, getting like a directory to know where offices are. That was really how it started. So I went on this journey. I was using a portion of my salary to build this thing, 234finance.com. Mm. I think then I think he, the, the slogan was uh, something about information or something. You're mm. powered by information. That was mm. the slogan mm. then. And I was working with a lot of journalists, and you know, just trying to get content. So I was like head editor, that was the title I gave myself. You know, I'll get journalists to write articles, I was paying journalists. I was actually spending on this thing for at least, I don't know, even till now I'm spending, but you know, now people are beginning to take us seriously and we're able to raise money to, you know, to do the things that we want to do. And um, it just, you know, really started off as a blog for, you know, information, information on different industries, you know, oil and gas, politics, you know, just different kinds of information that would help business people. Mm. But I was so, I was handling a lot of the back end that I wasn't interacting with people. Mm. So we're just this online digital Platform. website. We were posted on Instagram. There was no face. And I wasn't ready for that because at the time, you know, life was happening to me. I was working at the bank. Uh, before I joined the family business, of mm. course, I was working in Sterling Bank. You know, so I had a little banking career there in the private uh, private banking wealth management unit. So we started that unit of the bank. So it was like a hobby, more or less, you know, in my spare time, I would, you know, write on the website, manage, um, I would edit articles, manage journalists and things like that. And, you know, the standard and the quality of content was so, so terrible. So mm. I had to spend a lot of time editing it. So I was doing a lot of the back end work that there wasn't really time to sell it or to say this is two, three, four finance. As you know, mm. to be a business person, you have to be the face of your business, yes. absolutely. Yes. People need to be able to trust you and need to be able to say, okay, this is the person that runs Daba School or that runs two, three, four finance. Yes. So there wasn't really a face to the brand and that was really what birthed uh, the Mental Matchup Challenge. Okay. So the Mental Matchup Challenge was an expression and an attempt to engage with so the startup community. About, let me let me <laughs> let me let the audience know we're going to now. So okay. I've seen two three four finance. So when you go to three four finance dot com, you see several articles. There, there are this, I, I remember there's a particular week I had to stay up on the website getting some how tos, some yes. six steps to this, how to do some branding, how to do some marketing. Okay, and for me, I had to sit as a mini business school on its own, yes. which it has evolved to, and they have something exciting I want her to talk about. Uh, one of the challenges I've seen in today's um, entrepreneurship world, especially in Africa, is the area of funding, is the area of mentorship, okay? And she's using this platform to solve that problem. And that's why I, I want her to talk about Mentor Matchup Challenge. Uh, it's something exciting I have seen. It's something Daba is already part of. It's just when we're having the conversation before now, I said I'm going to be part of this big time because I love the idea. Let it be our own Y Combinator in Africa. So talk about Mentor Matchup Challenge. Okay, so the Mentor Matchup Challenge, the idea of mentorship is to help small businesses pretty much. So you speak to the typical African startup, they'll tell you that money is their problem, funding, funding, funding. Mm. But what we've realized from interacting, because we also offer consulting services mm. to startups, we help them with talent management, we help them with financial advisory, the whole nine yards. And from my experience with interacting with startups, what they need is sometimes leadership or sometimes somebody just pointing them in the right direction. Mm. And you know, like I said, the idea for 234 Finance, this is my calling. 
Mm. It's more, it's not even about making money because I've been running this for years and I've mm. been spending money to do this. Mm. It's my calling for Africans to empower each other at an incredible pace because we really do not have time. Mm. You know, you look at the newspapers, you look at what the economists are saying, things are depleting and we have to come up with creative ways to the empower solutions. ourselves yeah. and to keep the money within the, the continent, economy. within the economy because of course we're heavily dependent on importing and all of that so mm. what can we create as africans that we can even sell to mm. the entire world mm. and that entrepreneurship is the fastest way and mm. you know people start businesses think about it how do most people start businesses it's out of a need mm. out of oh i need to be able to fend for myself mm -hmm. oh i don't want to go hungry mm -hmm. so in a in an attempt to not go hungry you start a business they don't start a business a business deliberately right it's out of a need to solve a problem mm. and when you start a business that way you're going to encounter many problems mm. so the mentor matchup is an attempt to help you know put entrepreneurs on the right track and to get them guidance and to bridge that knowledge gap because there's you know there's a huge knowledge gap mm. um, that entrepreneurs lack in actually establishing and running a sustainable business and that's why you know you look at the statistics 80 percent of businesses fail why is that Mentorship is just one mm. reason, but we believe that with mentoring, we can, you know, go from mentoring to attacking other, other, challenges. other challenges that small businesses have. Interesting. So, uh, what are the areas uh, you talked about earlier on before our talk? You talked about uh, different niches that this mentorship challenge will cover, fashion okay. and all. So, I want to talk about those five areas that those who want to be part of this challenge okay. wanted to cover so they can be guided one, then probably you share how you can participate okay. in this and probably future plans of mental matchup challenge. Okay. So let's start on one, the areas first, the niche. Okay. I hope I remember everything. So agriculture is a major one for us. Mm. Manufacturing is another one. Fashion and beauty is another one. FMCGs and traders is another one e-commerce and retail Perfect. is the third one so five major sectors of interest so anyone who wants to be part of bento matchup challenge what should they do so if you want to be part of this year's event the first step is to upload a one minute video so we have twenty thousand usd um c funding available for it'll be split between three winners okay. but the 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 winner goes home with ten thousand US dollars. Mm. So what you need to do is to upload a one minute video pitch highlighting three things that 10,000 US dollars will solve for your business. So once you um, upload that video, and of course you have to be in these five sectors, agriculture in one of them, in agriculture, e-commerce and retail, manufacturing, fashion, fa fashion and beauty, and e um, what was the last one? E-commerce. We mentioned e-commerce. Fashion and beauty, yeah. FMCGs, manufacturing, e-commerce and beauty, mm. and um, agriculture. And agriculture. Yeah. Thank you very much. So it has to be in one of these sectors. I've seen some videos from people in music, comedy, <laughs> please. It has to be in these five sectors because we're always going to take five or six sectors per time because mm. you can't solve all, all the, the problems. problems in entrepreneurship. True. So once you upload that video, you should have, you know, you should have your you know, three problems that you want um, the money to solve for you that is pressing. And of course, you know, you have to have traction. It doesn't, you know, I was telling you that it doesn't only stop at the video. Mm. So we're going to demand pitch deck if we think your video is worthy. So the video is just the first step. Mm. Because in the previous edition, the first edition, big edition we did, um, we just asked people to send in their pitch decks, their emails, and we're getting all sorts of pitch decks that were good. But by the time we were, you know, we had them coming, for the event, we realized that the person, the person and the pitch deck, <laughs> 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 no alignment. And you know, this Mountain is Nigeria. Yeah, so people Anybody could have pay a pitch, pitch pay, pay a freelancer to just do a pitch deck. Precisely. And, and so we're also testing you for a presentation. Before skills. you continue, I, I want to be, I want us to be specific. Uh, the three problems you talked about in the video, should it be what their startup will solve or what the money will solve for what them? What the money will solve for them. Oh, perfect. Yes, what the perfect. money will solve for them. Perfect. So when perfect. you, um, you know, you upload the video, you have to tag at 234finance and at Mentor Matchup Challenge. We are on Instagram. My okay. Instagram handle is ZiniZulu, at okay. ZiniZulu. Okay. That's uh, Zini and Zulu. Then at 234finance and at Mentor Matchup Challenge. Then the official hashtag is hashtag MMC4. It's on the screen. Hashtag mentor matchup challenge four. I know it's a it's a it's a twister, a tongue twister, but 
yeah, that's what it is. Interesting. And uh, this morning, uh, we talked about Daba being a part of it. I already see what she's doing as Y Combinator, and I believe that with what she has on board, the network, the vision, uh, instead of replicating another one, we can be part of it. And yes, Daba is part of this Mentor Matchup Challenge. We're co-sponsors to, yeah. to this. And it's not something you should miss if you're there. When is the application closing? It's closing on the 6th of November. So, hurry up, okay? Do your pitch. Make sure you have a... Pro and don't say because... Uh, I, I she told me something earlier on and said, um, even if they don't select you, the fact that you qualify to even probably attend the live presentation and all that, there are companies, and this is what we want to do, there are companies uh, who probably could look at your deck, you were not selected, okay? Some of them could be... Uh, loan companies who want to just give you loan for your business, okay, and you can be part of it. Everything I said, I said this as an investor, as someone who, who loves in, who loves angel investment, who loves investing in people. Uh, one of the reasons for our wealth is so that we can redistribute it. One of the problems mm -hmm. of Africa today is wealth redistribution. Absolutely. Africa is wealthy. The problem is redistribution. Mm -hmm. Money is hanging in one government. Money is hanging with some set of people, and it's not equally or evenly distributed. Absolutely. So. Uh, I feel that as God blesses us, we should be using the same thing to empower other people. So when we believe that from mental matchup challenge, a pay stack will rise. We believe Absolutely. that uh, uh, a paga will rise. We believe that a next daba dot school will rise. We believe that the next tribe will rise. Okay, and don't see ten thousand. Ten thousand is not small money. I, I was sharing with you this morning that everything about my company today started with just two hundred thousand naira. Wow. Someone had to give me as a loan. Okay, so that's 200000 I bought my first big company, big company, $600. I've not gotten external money. Every other money that's come came because of that particular, that's what they call it seed funding. Yes. Okay, it's a seed that grows to become a tree, a fruit, and boom, a big land. So what you would do with this will determine if you build a unicorn, if you build a multi, a conglomerate, or something so big in the future. What are the future plans for Mental Matchup Challenge? So one of the things we started doing were um, our sponsors, our headline sponsors are B Platform Capital. I don't know if you've read anything about Platform Capital. No they, really. they run the Unicorn Incubator um, Program across Africa. Wow. And um, they invest in, you know, startups and big companies as well. Then we're also partnering with Black Copper. Black Copper is a fintech company that focuses on lending to startups. Mm. And um, that's the value that we'll be adding to the startups in our community. So what we started doing this year is to shoot, um, I'll call it like a mini uh, business school series with Black Copper. Oh. Um, you know, just, uh, it's called Business Essentials. Okay. So we're partnering with Black Copper to shoot that content. We've done about 15 episodes. We have about 25 more to go. We'll wow. probably split it into like four different episodes. Wow. And we have like different thought leaders and entrepreneurs coming and actually s telling stories about their business challenges. Hmm. And what that does is if you're a tailor or you're in fashion and you're trying to start hmm. and you're listening to someone in fashion, we had, you know, people like Ugo Monye hmm. telling you their startup journeys. You're hmm. able to avoid certain problems because hmm. somebody who has gone ahead of you is coming to tell you these were the problems and these were the hurdles that I faced when I was you know, starting. So you're able to now, you know, avoid some of those problems. I love, I love. Yeah. So the business school will cover different industries. Yes. Interesting, yes. interesting, interesting. And it's just through storytelling. Wow. Yeah. And that's even one of, the that, so that's one of the best ways to learn. I love storytelling. Yeah. You know, one of the challenges we have in Africa today is that we never tell our stories enough. Yeah. We, you, you go on YouTube today and then uh, you want to look for a business, let's say in FinTech, let's say in fashions. And we've had excellent and wonderful fashion designers in the past, and you can't even see what they've done on YouTube. Okay, so I think we can use this medium too to also change that narrative. Absolutely. Uh, Zini, it's been a wonderful time on Daba TV. And Same Zini here. is our business leader of the week because of this. She's uh, using Mentor Matchup Challenge to change the narrative, providing mentorship, funding, okay, and access and tools for startup. That's one pressing problem today in the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Africa. And not just that, she's an exciting business mogul and a wonderful mother of three lovely boys. <laughs> I love to see the way 
No, you need to go on the Instagram story. It's a family setting. Those three <laughs> boys, I don't know why they've not started a TV reality show. I want to start that. They should start, them, okay? Pull those boys. You need to see when they wear their Spider-Man stuff, where the three of them are disturbing the mom. I've seen where the boys open the and you know, family business. At the end of the day, that's fulfillment, I must say. And uh, yeah. we'll be like you too. Amen. <laughs> I mean, it's not easy wearing yeah. all those hats. I know we were having a conversation earlier yeah. about how I balance everything. Yeah. Something must suffer. Yeah. But what I do is, whatever I'm doing, I like to be present mm -hmm. in the moment. You know, and just immerse myself in that moment. So my daily routine, I wake up at 4 a.m. Wow. I'm sure you've probably seen my Instagram stories when I'm doing my exercise. I wake yeah. up at 4 every day. No jokes. But I try to go to bed early. That's the only way I'm able to do it. And I do my morning routine, and I take my kids to school. I don't have enough time to spend with them during the week because you must remember that I have a full-time job. Mm. I have side hustles I'm not going to mention in this forum, <laughs> right? So I don't start to confuse people. They'll be like, ah, Zini, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're all over mm. the place, right? But I have a full-time job and um, a full-time mom, full-time wife, and full-time entrepreneur. So what I do is whatever I'm doing, I try to be present in that moment. Mm. So if it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes I have with my kids, I make sure I'm present while I'm, um, you know, with them. And I mean, it's very tricky, honestly, because if you're thriving in one thing, another thing suffers. If you've heard, I think the CEO of Pepsi, I think it's mm. some Indian woman, I've yes. heard that speak in the past, and she always says that something has to suffer. So you also have to learn the art of delegation. You mm. should be able to trust people, even mm. though, yes, this is your vision, this is your dream, but you should be able to trust foot soldiers that will help you execute that vision. And that's the only way you would thrive and, you know, just, you know, living your life in balance. I also play hard, though. Like, the same effort that I put into work is the same effort I, pu I put family. into play. I put a lot of focus into mm. play when I really want to play. So mm. I think, you know, life is about balance. That's, wow. that's just, you know, my advice. So let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Eva. I'm a fund manager with Oryx Impacts. I will be attending the Mentor Matchup Challenge 4.0. Would you like to pitch for $10,000 seed funding for your business? If yes, then create a one minute video pitch in which you highlight three problems that $10,000 could solve for your business. Then share the video on Instagram using hashtag Mentor Matchup Challenge 4 then tag and follow at 234finance and at Mentor Matchup Challenge on Instagram. So we're back and this is three games. This is three questions. You only just answer once and there's no time to think. So just... Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm very competitive, so I'll try. Okay. To... So who is your favorite billionaire? Jeff Bezos. Oh, interesting. Um, number two. That's the first thing that came to my head, so. Number okay. two, your favorite African company? Nepal Oil and Gas <laughs> Services. Yeah. Number three, when you hear money, what comes to your head? Hustle. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. And that's a wrap on Business Leader of the Week. Please remember to follow 234 Finance on Instagram. Follow Zinizulu. On Instagram, but please don't start going to our DMs and start asking for giveaway. This is a business person, <laughs> please be careful. Instagram people, and for those who will be watching Daba TV, okay, remember to use the subscribe button and remember to also go to www.daba.school to take a course, learn a new skill because we are all up here for financial freedom. Do you have any word for Daba TV? Maybe just a word of encouragement for us, sure, of course. Doing. Um, so my word of encouragement is keep going and keep building. So there was a post that, there was something I read the other day about Elon Musk and about how he was a millionaire, then a billionaire, and mm. he's about to be a trillionaire. Mm. So don't, you're, you know, always be driven. Like don't, this is like the, the worst, this should be like your worst case scenario, scenario in mm. everything that you're doing. Just know that the sky is the limit mm. and that you can always improve and you know, you just keep your hustle up. Keep Thank your hustle up. Yeah. Thank you so much. And do you love Daba TV? I love Daba TV and I'm going to engage more offline. 
Um, I've seen, I mean, you, you have a strong community. I was so, you know, when you were telling me that thing yesterday mm -hmm. about sending you my high quality video mm -hmm. and all of that. So I went to your live stream and you guys had over 465 viewers and I was reading the comments and people were, you know, they were like, oh, words of wisdom mm. and all that. I remember I told you that you, you should have been a pastor, but it's good <laughs> that you're not a pastor because there are a lot of pastors who are actually motivational speakers, but they're using God's house to be doing their motivational speech. So, so you're on the right path for sure. And people believe in what you're doing. I mm. mean, turning 200,000 naira into millions is you know it's not it's definitely something that is um admirable and yeah like you should keep going Thank for you sure so and you have a good community like i believe in your community Thank and i hope so they much. you know they subscribe to what we're doing and you know follow at mental matchup challenge at two three four finance they will they will please remember <laughs> our telegram channel is there for those of you who have not seen the video okay the video is there on telegram channel even on our instagram page so if you want to follow those instructions and all that please do and once again i want to appreciate you for coming i know thank what it you. takes to take you out on a busy day like this <laughs> thank you for coming Thanks for thank you for me. honoring our invitation and my greetings to your boys and <laughs> your will, lovely husband here. at the same time <laughs> thank you and that's a wrap for us your host here chris and you keep watching remember to share this video don't forget to share our videos on daba tv okay this is a full-time online education tv and also remember to also follow us on www.daba radio in case you don't want to watch you can still follow up this program on dabaradio.com and share with your friends your loved ones your family and every other person till i come your way next week keep succeeding keep believing the future is yours and success is yours it's a time out here. Bye -bye.